And folks, that's why it's my great honor today to announce that O'Fallon's first all-inclusive playground will be officially named Brendan's Playground. I tell you what, when I met Brendan at the kickoff, it was, to me, it was just the right thing to do to name this playground after him. And if you ever have a chance to meet Brendan, he will melt your heart and you'll understand why. This thing I made, this little light at the top, yeah, I can make something. I made this thing right here, okay, and I made this, it's like a little, let's just Well, well, like Brendan this. was born, um, I could tell laying on the table that uh, he had something wrong with his hands. You could see that his arms were a different shape, but you couldn't really see his thumbs at all. I didn't learn about that until a little bit later, that he had no, no thumbs on both arms. That was really difficult, especially, you know, you go, you have a baby, you expect to take him home, and then you don't get to. <laughs> Brendan likes jumpa jumpas. Uh, when Brendan was transplanted, it was from an umbilical cord stem cell transplant. They just inject the cells in, and they engrafted with Bren really well. You know, we did do bone marrow drives and whatnot to see if we can get a really good match for him. So just to have that support and the friendships that we had, trying to find adaptive equipment for the bathroom and for getting him dressed, you know, just so he could dress himself and put on his own clothes, his shoes, you know, just simple things that people take for granted every day. You know, be able to let him do it by himself was a big deal. Oh, having this playground named after Brendan is a huge, huge honor. Um, he is so excited to tell everybody about his playground. This is my playground. It will be named after me, Brendan Playground at West of Parks. What's your favorite part of the playground? This part, that section. So this part right behind the butterfly, you can get on top of that, and it'll take a little jumpy jump. Are you excited about the playground? Yes, I am and bringing Brendan's Playground here will help everyone with whatever ability you have will be able to go out and enjoy a playground. Unlimited Play was founded by Natalie and Todd Blakemore in 2004. Inspired by their son Zachary, their mission is to build universally accessible playgrounds so all children can play. A limited play playgrounds surpass ADA standards and are unique because of their following features. They have ramps from the bottom to the top of every structure, smooth, spongy surfacing, metal slides for children with cochlear ear implants, fencing completely around the playground, a sensory-rich environment, adaptive swings, shading, and water play area. These playgrounds are designed for people of all ages. I haven't been to a playground in years, boy. <laughs> And I'm 99. <laughs> Three, two, one. Zachary's Playground was opened in 2007 in Lake St. Louis. The second playground, Treetop, opened in 2010 in Clayton. The third and current project is Brendan's Playground, currently being built in O'Fallon, Missouri. We would really like to thank SSM Rehabilitation Network for their support for Brendan's Playground. They have been wonderful at engaging their employees and really um, making Brendan's Playground a reality. Well, SSM Rehabilitation Network is a 110-year-old organization that was founded by Sister Mary Helen Kyle, and now we specialize in taking care of patients that need care after their acute episode. Our focus is to help them through each level of their care uh, to help them get back on their feet. Here um, at the SSM Rehabilitation Network, we like to treat our patients as family. We like to, to see them not only progress in their treatment here, but outside and, and how it affects their daily life. So it's great to catch back up with them and, and see what kind of progress they're making after being here at the outpatient clinic. Probably the greatest thing about working here is our culture and our rich heritage that started with Sister Mary Helen Kyle. Our mission uh, really has to reflect that. So we really try to look for things that we can support that reflect that kind of spirit and that kind of thought that the mission continues. The mission team is 
established to bring together the values and the respect of what we do in our organization. We came together as a group whenever the joint venture occurred and bring to life our new meaning and our new values for what we stand for as an organization. Brendan's Playground project was brought to our mission team. It hit right on cord with what we were wanting to demonstrate with our respect and the values of our community as far as our mission statement states. You know, really and truly, I don't think it was any magic when I saw Unlimited Play's mission. I knew that this would just feed the souls of our employees and really that people would jump right on it. One of the biggest benefits, the partnership between SSM and Unlimited Play in terms of Brendan's Playground is the fact that our patients, who are mostly the parents and grandparents of children, will be able to go with these children to the playground and participate with the children that they are bringing made to where they can participate. It won't be mulch, it won't be pea gravel, it will be the rubber surfaces. It's such a great fit because as I mentioned, we see these patients when they first come to us with these life-changing events and they think, how can I ever go play with my kid again? You know, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair, so how can I ever really experience the things that life create again? And really, that's what Unlimited Play is all about. You know, these life-changing events don't have to change. Uh, how you live life and what you do on a daily basis. It's a huge difference to go to a playground and not feel disabled when you can actually function with the child. Our patients now can still take their kids to these playgrounds, interact with their kids and be a part of the playing, so it's just a perfect fit. And now Brendan Schmidt is gonna Are you ready, bud? Right, Let's go, ready. bud. Here comes Brendan. I think when people see or people have heard Brendan's story, I hope it motivates people to keep going and keep trying. And that's that's what the, the playground means. You know, it's a symbol of to overcome whatever their obstacles are. That's what Brendan is. He's very inspirational to a lot of people. He's always been my shining star. And you know, I have bad days and it's like, Brendan's had really bad days and he's still really happy and, and just determined that he doesn't give up. So I just hope it motivates people to not